And let's bring you some breaking news now from Stockholm, where this year's Nobel Prize in Chemistry has been awarded to a trio of scientists based in Japan, Australia, and the United States. Susumo Kitagawa, uh, Richard Robson, and Omar Yagi have been recognized for their work in the development of what is known as metal organic frameworks. The jury said that their research would allow for the creation of entirely new materials with unheard of properties. They will receive their Nobel Prize medals and diplomas in December and share a cash award of around a million euros. Joining me now in the studio is DW Science reporter Matthew Ward Aegis. So, uh, the Nobel Prize here uh, in chemistry going for discoveries in metal organic frameworks. Tell us a little bit more about this field. What is this? It's a really cool field and it's an emerging field that has basically seen the work of these three individuals recognized today pioneer a new. I guess, architecture of, uh, of chemistry, which we can insert into the way that we design metal structures into the future. Basically, the best way, and it's the way that the Nobel Committee kind of tried to make this a really accessible announcement for the public. Imagine a hotel with lots of rooms. Well, that's what these metal organic frameworks are. They're rooms that gas and water molecules can inhabit within metal. And well, I suppose the best way to say it here is we've created structures through the work of these three people that have huge surface area. We see a piece of metal, but what we're not seeing is this honeycomb-like uh, architecture that all of these molecules can now inhabit, which is fantastic for creating new structures that can store these molecules into the future and hopefully create some really progressive scientific advancements that will have a huge benefit for society. So that's how it can be used? Anything further? Yeah, so I guess some examples of this are that we can create structures now which can suck air from the desert and store the water from the air. So if you're living in the desert and you have a water shortage at any point in time, we can create structures that can basically harvest water now from a very dry, arid climate. That's a huge benefit for people that live in those sorts of areas. We hear a lot now about forever chemicals, chemicals called uh, PFAS that we don't probably want to have in our body as we try to understand what they do. Well, we can create structures using this scientific advancement which could take the PFAS out of the water that we drink, ensuring that we've got clean and safe water for everyone. Okay, which might become necessary. Um, were you surprised to see metal organic frameworks recognised today or was this coming? Uh, it's a really good question, actually, because with the Nobel Prizes, you don't actually know who's been even nominated for 50 years when they finally release their shortlist. But the Nobel Prize, you know, they want as many people to see the announcement. They run a live feed and there's a live chat going and people from all over the world were getting into that chat saying, we want to see metal organic frameworks recognised this year. Okay. Everyone tries to speculate and guess what it might be for and a lot of people were saying, you know, this is what we think would be really appropriate because it's relevant for today. We've got climate and environment high on the global agenda. This is a really good advancement that could be recognised. So always surprised to see who wins the Nobel Prize in whichever category it is. But I think there'd be a lot of people patting themselves on the back for, for what happened today. Okay, thank you so much. Uh, Matthew Ward Aegis uh, joining us for the latest on the Nobel Prize for Chemistry, in Chemistry.